What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers and welcome back to the Tradman YouTube channel where once again in the workshop and today we're doing a review of the Ionic Hydra water fed pole. Stay tuned. So yes indeed folks, today we're going to be talking about the Ionic Hydra pole and all the pros and cons for this pole. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you'll notice about the Ionic Hydra pole is just how light it is. That's the main thing it seems Ionic have gone for with this pole, is try and make it as light as humanly possible. Now one of the ways that they've achieved this is by thinning down the walls of the carbon used. Now that could possibly lead to issues with rigidity and also breakages. Now they maintain that it's still a very rigid pole, but unfortunately through the great vine of things like Facebook, I have heard that genuine experiences of people that have used this pole and unfortunately it broke. So personally I've not had that experience myself yet, I've had this pole for a good few months and been given it a good test. So far I have found that it's a bit more flexible I would say compared to its competitors but I've not since broken it yet. So but I'll keep you tuned on that one but so far so good. One of the other things that you'll notice folks about this pole is that its collapse length is relatively quite good, it's quite short. So if you're going to be using this for in tight spaces but you also need it to be able to reach up to 30 foot then this is quite a decent pole for that so it gets a good score on that. So at the bottom of the pole you'll notice that it has a quick connection. Now it's a very good idea but the problem is that this quick connection is actually glued in. So for those of you like myself that like to use something such as a univalve, unfortunately you're kind of scoobied in that department. You can't actually fit a univalve to this pole. Now the way Ionic says that they've gotten around the problem is at the bottom of the base cap they have a small groove. Now the idea is that you pull your hose into that small groove at the bottom of that base cap. Now personally I found when trying to jam my hose into that small gap it doesn't seem to work. Now a friend of mine, big shout out to Squeaky Clean Dave, He's basically said a similar kind of experience but he uses hot water so for him it does actually work a little bit more often than what happens for me but for me I use cold water so unfortunately the hose just isn't that supple, it doesn't quite go and jam in there and cut the water off and basically it still leaves me with water piddling out the end of the brush. So unfortunately I'm not a big fan of the squish your pole hose into the bottom of the pole idea, I would like something like a univalve. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is the clamps on the pole. Now I don't know if you know but many many moons ago, over a decade ago, I used to work for a company that used ionic equipment and one of my jobs towards the end of my employment was actually fixing water fed pole equipment. Now back in the day I used to fix a lot of clamps and it was ionic stuff, the glue always used to come off and the clamps always seemed to come loose and unfortunately it kind of seems to be very very similar to what I remember back in the day and I have found that during a course of a day these clamps do need to be tightened up you know once or twice you know sometimes a day usually it's the sections obviously that you use the most the top one two and three tend to be the main culprits that you need to then tighten up with the screw to get that pole to stop spinning so unfortunately I'm not a big fan of the clamps and as well you can't actually remove them if you want to they're all glued on. So a lot of the modern poles now you can take the clamps off using things like an allen key they're just screwed on but for weight saving Ionic say that they haven't gone with that idea um, but personally I actually would prefer to see the clamps have an easy way to remove them and therefore if you need to and you're on the hop you can fix it and you don't have to worry about gluing your clamps back on. Now the next thing we're going to talk about a bit further up the pole is the angle adapter. Now the angle adapter I do like, it is very solid, it feels well made, I've not had any, zero issues with it at all. Some angle adapters that you get on water fed poles feel a little bit flimsy, especially when you're scrubbing left to right. But the Ionic have really done well in their angle adapter, it's very strong, very rigid, especially when you're using it as a trad pole as well, which we'll come on to. So for those of you that require a water fed pole and a traditional pole, especially for Mormon tools, this one's been designed for, this one can take the Mormon end cone. So if you have things like the Mormon liquidator and accelerator squeegees, things like that, you can swap out your water fed pole brush for the Mormon adapter so you can use it as a traditional pole as well. So if you've got high level stuff, trad work to do, that's a, I find it a really nice pole to use for a traditional work. So it gets a good score on that. 
Okay then, so we're on to the brush head themselves. Now Ionic gave me a couple to try. Now the scrubbing power of the brushes are quite good, it did a fairly good job of that. Now when it comes to the fan jets of the brushes, we've got two different options, pencil and fan. The fan jets unfortunately don't really cover much of the actual brush. They only cover the center part. So the problem with that is when you're rinsing the window down, it does take that bit more effort and it's a bit more awkward, especially if you're trying to rinse something off to the side and you've got a brick wall that's kind of getting in your way. It makes things a bit more awkward. So personally, I would like to see the fan jets cover the wider area of the brush from left to right and not just the center of the brush. So perhaps maybe Ionic can do that for next time. Now your other option is pencil jets. They perform very well. They're nicely spaced out. They're quite close to the ends of the brush as well. So you get a good coverage when you're rinsing the window down. And also connected to this brush, you'll see that we have the swivel. Now personally, the swivel for me, it looked very badly made. If I just be completely blunt and honest with you, it is very old technology actually. Um, Ionic will tell you that the swivel's been around for quite a long time, but unfortunately there hasn't been anything to replace it as of yet, so hopefully that's on the cards. But for me, this swivel was very poor. So finally, the last thing we have to talk about is the price of it. Now, I did a few comparisons online of similar basically sizes. Now this one was actually coming in the most expensive out of the ones I searched for. So generally speaking it went for very common things like your gardeners and the phantom poles and things like that that a lot of people tend to be buying at the moment. So compared to this you will be expecting to pay quite a bit more. Now we're getting on to the overall. Do I think it's worth paying that extra? Okay then, so here comes the final word on the Ionic Hydra today. So overall, would I recommend that you splash your cash and buy this pole? Unfortunately, I would say for me, no, I wouldn't recommend this pole. Now, why? Well, we've looked at the fact that the clamps unfortunately haven't really improved much and if you ever need to remove them, it's very old school. You have to cut them off and re-glue new ones on. Unlike a lot of the modern poles now where you can take them off nice and easily, for me that's a bit of a bummer. Also the fact that this end cone situation is basically all glued, which means that I can't fit my univalve, which again, not particularly chuffed about to be honest folks. With the brush situation we looked at, the pencil jets were absolutely fine, no issues there, and the actual bristles themselves, no issues there at all. But when it comes to the fan jets, if you're a fan, I personally like a good coverage over the whole window and I actually quite like an over the top rinse as well but unfortunately you don't get that option with these brushes. Unfortunately the fan actually only covers the centre part of the brush so for me the brush head was a bit of a no go. So because of these unfortunate negative things that we've mentioned today and the fact that it's actually more expensive than its competitors of a similar kind. I just can't recommend this poll to you at this current point in time, but hopefully Ionic will take this as constructive criticism, perhaps will improve the clamps in the future, will allow us to fit things like univalves to the pole, and also give us some more options when it comes to a swivel neck and the actual brush head fan jets themselves as well. So hopefully Ionic will take that on board and we'll see maybe a new and improved version in the future. So there we have it folks, another review done and dusted on the Tradman YouTube channel. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video today and found it informative. Feel free to check out the playlist, different reviews that I've done in the past. Hopefully you'll find something there of interest and I'll see you in the next video. You take care, be good and bye for now.